how to host multiple websites using node.js. Okay, so I'm logged on to my node.js server here and it's running listening on port 80, which actually currently runs three websites from it. And I'm just gonna give you a quick demo of that. One of the websites is Bird MMO. We can see there was a new connection and it's just a very simple little game that we all love. Got another one called Spider MMO, which is also hosted on the same node.js server. And we can play, it's just a little bit of a walk around and stuff. Uh, another website too called busy.com, which is a uh, voice chat server. The, they are all hosted on the same node.js server. And I'm gonna show you how I do that here. So I'm using WinSCP because it's actually really good for editing files. This is the structure of my node.js server instance. And here is my basic node.js server script that exists here in the node.js uh, root. And it's, it listens on port 80 and just has a, an object called server which is this, and it's listening on port 80. What it does is when you visit the, the root node.js that I have here, it will, it will take the host name from the request headers, then do a simple switch case on it. And whatever I've typed in, it will serve a particular variable that I've created up here. Um, so busy, busy, it will serve busy, spider, spider will serve uh, this one here called, that I've, called, I've named tadpole. And if none of these names match, it will just uh, serve a, a default response here where I just write the host name to the screens. So if I was just to type in the, say the IP address of birdmmo.com, which happens to be, happens to be that, because I don't, I haven't got a case for IP address. It's just going to take me down to default. I'm just going to re response dot end with the with the host name it finds, which happens to be the IP address. I can also type in a subdomain, which I've tried earlier um, for spidermmo.com. I don't have a Sean was here dot spidermmo.com, so it's going to go to default and just return this host name. Perhaps I don't want to return the host name anymore, but I want to return a fourth website. So I'm just going to create a fourth website now that I can host on the single node.js. And I'm going to start up here. I'm going to call, just copy and paste this slightly. And I'm going to call it file unassigned. And it's going to be a new static server and it's going to um, go to its root folder, which I'll call client unassigned as well. Let's go down here and create one, create a new folder, new directory, call it client unassigned. Okay, there we go. So these are my four folders. Client unassigned, I'll create a new, just very basic HTML file. I'm gonna call it index.html and just write Sean was here in it. Um, just like that. So now, so instead of response.end the host name that I find, I'm actually gonna go to my new static server that I've created here. Dot serve. Um, it's basically the same as this. File unassigned dot serve, serve, request response. So it will now serve the new website that I've, the very simple website that I've just placed in this folder. So let's just uh, restart node. So the changes take effect. And now if I was to refresh that now, see it now says Sean was here. This is just a very basic HTML page. Let me just edit that again. Sean was here. This is a very basic 
HTML page. Now let's respond, refresh that again. There we go. This is a very basic HTML page. That is just a basically how you you host multiple websites from a single Node.js server. And really, that's all you need to really be aware of. And just before we go, I'll show you how I can even change my default res uh, response to be actually being bird MMO, for instance. Let's let's try that. I'll just if I'm if I don't know if I don't recognise any of these addresses and it's something unusual, I'll just go to bird MMO anyway. So let's just try that. Let's restart node. Now let's go here. It's taking me to boot MMO, see? Let's just try something else. Um, random subdomain dot dot busy dot com takes me to boot MMO. So it's that's basically how it's done. Extract the host name from the request headers. Do a switch case on each on 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 them and choose which static server that you want to serve. All within a default node.proxy implementation. <laughs>